What's up everybody? I'm Katanata and welcome back to Saint Maker. I have switched ears. Now it's this one that I can't have the headphones on because now this ear is worse than that ear. This ear is actually getting better. This ear has gotten worse. So now I'm treating both ears. I can barely hear anything. <laughs> I'm clogged up in this ear, and I'm clogged up in that ear. At least this, at least this ear hurts less now. Now this, it, now this ear hurts like hell. So, also, so now my mic is further away from my mouth. Hopefully, you can hear me just as good. I'm gonna try to talk a bit louder. Uh, yeah. So that that was that. Let's let's get into it again. Now I have to, now I have to hire the volume so I can hear what they're saying. Drink up, flowers. Got your juice right here. Wow, I can barely hear anything. The eardrops clog up my ears so much. Wow, they're all blooming. Nothing at all like how it's how it is now. <gasps> that song. Oh, do you like it? Sister Adira taught it to me. Sometimes it gets too quiet here, and when that happens, every little noise sounds even louder. Noises that I hear at night. She said that singing helps keep the silence away. And so whenever I'm scared and can't sleep, well, I can just distract myself with a nice little song. I... I see. Those drawings on her journal, just thinking about what they... what they might have been doing here. Um... Hey, Cornelia, that's your name, isn't it? Yep, that's me. Listen, I wanted to ask you... And this red one over here is Squiggly! Huh? There you go, Squiggly! Look at him, getting bigger every day! And that yellow one over there is Tulip. I know it's not really a Tulip, but she likes the name just fine. Oh, well... She looks great, too. So, you named all of these flowers? Yep, me and Sister Adira. How about that one over there? Oh, she's new. We never got the chance to name her. I know. Why don't you give her one? M me How about Kylie? How about Kylie? Kylie. I like that. Well, here you go, Kylie. Drink up! <laughs> you seem to really care for them. Of course. Sister Adira and I... We talk about what the flowers were up to when we weren't looking. I think that fairies live in the flowers. But the other nuns... They don't like fairies. But Sister Adira said that fairies are just angels. They dance around the garden, covered in bright colors. And other times, they play pranks on all the people we didn't like. <laughs> It... It was nice... Making up stories. <laughs> that does sound nice. The world we share together. The worlds... The worlds I tried so hard to believe were real. It does feel nice, doesn't it? Playing pretend. But right now... Look, Cornelia... We need to stop this, huh? Look, I still don't really quite get what's happening, but I need you to stop doing this... this pretend thing. All these things that you've been doing, going into my dreams, making those voices, and those... those statues. Adira, not your Adira, but the Adira I know. She... She thinks it's something bad. I didn't mean it. You know, I was just playing around. It was 
just so sad and boring here. And besides, those statues, that wasn't me. What? What do you mean? They were worse things. Worse things? Like... Like what? I don't really know how to say it. But... It's this place. This whole place. It... It doesn't let us go. It just keeps us here. Playing the same things over and over again. <gasps> what? Are you serious? What is that supposed to mean? I... I... really don't know how else to say it, but this place... It changed Adira. It changed her so much. I don't like it. I don't... Hey... You're her friend too, right? Huh? Um, friends with who? Uh, Adira. Oh! I don't think I'd call her my friend, but... I guess... Sort of. I've been watching her. She's older and... She's different. But I know it's still her. I keep trying to tell her that she needs to leave. But no matter how hard I try, she never sees me. Do you think she hates me? Does she? She never really mentioned her. Honestly, I don't really know. It's like what you said. Adira, she's... She's different now. Time passes and people change, you know? <laughs> Do they ever change back? I'm not really sure. I'd... I'd like her to see me again. Even just once. Me. Hey, thank you for talking to me. It's been really hard. Being all alone, but I think you should leave. Get as far away as you can from this place. And please... Take Dira with you. Oh. This part again. She was sad. <laughs> Sister Adira? Oh! Yes, everything's fine. Just fine. Really? I can be pretty sharp too, you know. You want me to get a glass? A glass? What are you talking about? For your tears. If we just let them fall, it'll be such a big waste. We gotta save them. So if I start feeling sick, they can heal me. <laughs> Cornelia, that's... that's nice of you, but it doesn't work like that. My cat's screaming. Look, Cornelia, those colored pencils I gave you, you said you'd only use them to draw on your notebook. Come here, you. But she wanted to. She was climbing up to me. You little bitch. I wanted to get back at them. <laughs> they don't see it like that. Listen, vandalizing holy paintings. It might seem like just a prank, but... Now they're... They're saying that the voices you hear are driving you to do these things. The other girls here won't even talk to me, you know? They call me a witch. And it's all because the sisters keep telling them lies about me. <laughs> they just want what's best for you. The sisters, they hurt the other girls. I hear it at night. They take some of them out. I can hear their voices through the walls. That's not... It's all just to make sure you've learned your lessons well. You don't hit me. Why can't they be more like you then? I'm... I'm new here. I'm still learning. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. This place is horrible.
soul. Stop pretending that it isn't. They're hurting you too. I see it. They do it all the time. <laughs> That's why you're sad, right? They're hurting you. Uh, I'm no saint. I can barely manage being a good nun. Is... Is that why you're sad? No, it's not that. I'm fine, it's just... <laughs> I wanted to come here so badly. But here I am, just... Failing at everything. <laughs> Mother Idolora. Now there's the real saint. <laughs> when I see her at work, it's like God himself is whispering into her ears, just like all the stories. It's magical, really. And I try, I try so hard to be like her. But whenever I pray, I don't hear anything. It's just silence. Maybe they're all right. Maybe I do lack faith. Let's try it. Try what? Praying. Let's pray together. I... Uh, okay. Put your hands together. And close your eyes. There you go. Do you hear that? Hear what? No, it's just silence. It always is. Are you sure? Try harder. There. The sound of the birds. And if you listen real close... There's the sound of us breathing. And if you listen closer, there's our heartbeat. It's not silent at all. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose you're right. You're sad that you're not a saint, but that's okay. I like you the way you are. Just you. And besides, I don't think I ever want you to be a saint, because then you'll have healing tears, and that means you'd have to cry all the time. And I don't want you to keep crying. <laughs> you silly, silly girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Oh, I wanted to give this to you. Made it when the others weren't looking. Do you like it? Oh. It's your own little rosary. Oh, she got it from Cornelia. I actually think she got that from Idelora, but she got it from Cornelia, I see. Whenever people hurt me or make me sad, Demi was always there for me to talk to. I know it's not the same, but I see some of the sisters talking to their rosaries sometimes, so maybe this can sort of be the same thing. Something to talk to whenever you're lonely. Oh, oh thank you so much, Cornelia. <laughs> Try it on. I... You're not actually supposed to wear rosaries, dear. They aren't bracelets. Mother Idolora would... Oh. Um, well, but... Oh, would you look at that? I don't really think this counts as a rosary. Not enough beads for even a single mystery, so I suppose... That just makes it a nice little bracelet. And if anyone asks, well... It can be our own little mystery. How's that? <laughs> Yay! That smile, it really does suit you. <gasps> there you are. The Mother Superior wants to see you. <clears throat> Come with me. Right, yeah, so when they are talking about the Mother Superior, they are not talking about Adira, they are talking about Idelora. When I thought they were alive, I thought that they were talking about Adira when they said Mother Superior, but they are talking about Idelora. It, it's happening? Right now? But she didn't... I was told... To listen to your superiors. Now come, help us. Hey! You little bitch. She scratched me. Lord Jesus, you know my burdens. I lay them all on your good shepherd's heart. Hold still. I beseech you. 
and by the merits of the great, open wounds in your heart, and to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Wait! But... Adira, don't just stand there. Help us restrain her! Please, just... Just talk to her! Don't... Don't hurt her! Heal the pain of my memories, so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish, filled with anxiety. My go of her! Please! I, I, was, I was trying to get through to her! Just... Children, please, you'll scare away the birds. <sighs> My fair Delora. I saw two doves the other day. Imagine if they end up nesting here. Well, we'd wake up to their pretty little feathers falling from the sky. Just like angels. Finally we get to see the really Delora. I've been waiting for that for a long time. Forgive us, Mother. Forgive us. Forgive us. I am graced with your presence. <laughs> Violence is only ever the last resort. Let her go, and she will stay. <laughs> there now. Take it in. <laughs> good, good. Every breath is precious. A gift from God. Do not take such things for granted, child. Mother Itelora, please. Children her age, they have an overactive imagination. Our mother was speaking, Adira. All is right, Sister Annalyn. Please, find it in yourself to forgive Adira. You are family, after all. And family must love each other unconditionally. Yes, Mother. As for you, Sister Adira, I have given your concerns ample reflection. Cornelia, I have something very special for you, child. I understand that you were upset that we confiscated your little toy. Adira has made its importance very clear. You're lucky to have her on your side. So, we came to a nice little compromise. Here you go, good as new. <laughs> They made it a regular horse. They literally destroyed it. No! What? what? Damn me! What? What did you do? Why, I fixed it. A perfectly fine and normal horse. Beautiful, isn't she? No, and it's a he. As I feared. A proper thank you is in order, child. Mother Idolora herself fixed that. For you. What? No, that's not how- But, do you not feel that? A crack upon a dam, a blot of ink on silk, a splinter in his grand design? Upon Cornelia, I see horrible. Horrible scars. What do you mean? Oh, you can't see it, but they blemish your beautiful young face beyond all recognition. But worry not, you are in good hands. Just like what we did to your little toy, we can do the same to you. But they scarred the toy. So she's basically saying that they are gonna scar her. We'll make you new. Perfect. Adira. Yes, Mother. Your actions have not been in vain. Even in her broken state, I can sense the love she has for you. Now, let's put that love to good use. Mother, please. I... Tell her to calm down and trust us. Tell her that everything will be all right, as it will. Adira? <laughs> Adira? I'm scared. Adira. Now, now, I need to ask something of you. Something very important.
important. I need you to go with them, okay? I... I don't want to go. Shh. It's fine. We all just want to help you. Oh, remember the stories? St. Mary, St. Rosa, St. Berna. They heard the calling. It's just like that. Remember what I told you? This place, there's a very special air to it. Adira knows that they are going to literally torture the girl. It seems like she didn't make it. This is a holy place. Here, miracles happen. It's not too far off from magic now, is it? Just, just, just go with her and, and, and you'll be better. That's all, that's all they're trying to do here after all. <laughs> Helping you to become a proper child of God. Damn, Adira is so scarred from this that she has gone crazy. A child worthy of becoming a saint. <laughs> Please, no. Just do this for me, okay? She went so crazy that she stayed here all alone. <laughs> Trust us. Trust me. Come now, Cornelia. We'll fix you right up. I... I should go with her. She needs someone to... You are young, Adira. And you are also strong. So strong. But I must ask you to stay. You have your duties to attend to. But... She is in good hands. We will do our best. Yes. Yes, Mother. There, now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Take her to the room of hosts. Oh, shite! Ah, uh, they read about that. Uh, Gabby and Holly read about that, and it was a pure torture. Probably. Yes, Mother. Where... Where did they take you? C Cornelia? Where did you go? C Cornelia? <laughs> Dear... Well, what now? Should I follow them? She just bounced. And they all just kept praying. <laughs> they said they'd make me better. They told me there were bad things. Bad things inside me that I was bad for having the bad things inside me. Why? Why were the bad things inside me? It was so hard to breathe. And then, after what seemed like forever, 
It was easy. So easy. But... You know what the worst part was? Even then... When I thought it was all finally over, I still couldn't leave. Cornelia? C Cornelia? She's here. Who's here? Holly! Are you here? No, not here. Not here. Where is she? Oh, Holly, is that you? Oh, thank God. Adira. Oh, I feared the worst. I have been looking all over the convent. How did you even end up here? Quick, let's leave this place. We can pray together and, and sort all this out in the chapel. Holly, come now. <laughs> is something wrong, child? Holly? Are you... are you yourself? Remember the prayers. It's okay, Adira. I'm... I'm me. I've always, always have been. Just... What is this place? It is the torture chamber. This was their last resort if they couldn't change the child. They would just... Put them in a coffin, isolated in darkness, until they broke down and gave in. Or in... Or in uh, Cornelia's case, they didn't like her, so they just let her die in there. <sighs> this place? Well, it's nothing. Just a simple storage room. For things that we... <sighs> no longer use for things you've tried to fix that's not no no no, no. I, I told you it's it's a storage room an honest witness does not deceive but a false witness pours out lies what what are you for nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. Luke. Child, I, I need you to come with me this instant. You are getting worse. Prayers. Prayers will block out the satanic voices that have been whispering into your ear. Not whispers. It was actually a very nice casual conversation. But I guess when you're not willing to listen... Everything sounds like a whisper. <gasps> Miss Beltran, just what are you on about? Cornelia. <gasps> Does that name sound familiar? How do you know her name? She told me herself. <gasps> what? No, that, that can't be. You two were friends. She trusted you. Don't you remember? She, she was ill. Very ill, seeing things that weren't there, he hearing voices in her head. Mother Idolora suspected the worst. Is that why she killed her? <gasps> How dare you! She did no such thing! Mother Idolora was saving her! Then what happened to her? She never left this room, did she? Her, her body was too weak, and the devil, he was too strong. Mother Idolora tried her best. Do you really believe that? Enough! You are not yourself, Holly. You need to leave this place and pray. We both need to leave this place and pray. Stop making excuses! She killed her! I saw it all! Ah! <laughs> noise. It's hard for me to think when you are making so much noise. Distractions. So many distractions. She, she would she would never do such a thing. She told me so. We are all family. Perfect loving sisters. And perfect loving sisters never, never hurt each other. Oh dear. Please. You need to listen to me. I have given my life to uphold the sanctity of this convent. 
I will not listen to such slander against my family! Adira? Adira, where are you going? To a place where I can have silence! Don't just ignore what I said! Adira, please, open up! She's not listening. Gabby! Gabby, are you there? Get me out of here! Damn it! I'm, I'm shaking. Is it really that cold or... God, I shouldn't have talked to Adira like that. It doesn't help. It never did. It would have been better just to stand there with your mouth shut. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. We're gonna do a thing here, though. We have a system, remember? A system that works. <laughs> Does it really? Because I've never been happy with it. I'm not sorry. Deep breaths, Holly. Deep breaths. I don't really know what's going to happen, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Someone hears me, or till this door breaks down. Either way, I'll just keep making noise. Anything to keep the silence at bay. <laughs> oh God, Adira, just what are you doing? <laughs> God. Did she, was she really? Of course not, this girl is lying clearly. Oh Lord, guide me so I may see the truth. Yes. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, bless me with wisdom. Guide me so that my heart may see the truth. The truth. Yes. Mother Idolora, she was a saint. A true saint. Do you hear that? Somewhere in this convent is a safe and quiet place. It has clean white walls with paint that never peels. Heavenly castles with angels fluttering past stained glass windows. Guys, I don't think there's any point to me actually saving this much. Because I think we will have to play this one more time to do different choices. I don't think I'm gonna be able, like I did with, um, uh, like I did with Grotesque Beauty, that one was more organized to go back and choose, because there were, uh, so many endings put out, and I'm, I'm actually not going to save as much anymore, uh, by the choices, because if we are going to make other decisions, we're probably going to have to play this one more time. You just need focus, Adira. Let your mind wander to a safe haven amidst the clouds. It's hard to think with all that noise. <laughs> Pounding and pounding again and again. Distractions, meaningless distractions. Keep quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Ah! <laughs> 
I... I hit her. It wasn't my fault. I was trying to save her. Oh, but what now? Find that silent space, Adira. Find that quiet space. Silence! Quiet silence. Distractions. So many distractions. I, I can't take it anymore. Oh, Mother Itinora, look what they've done to you. I, I've been so busy. I haven't been able to. The blood. It's everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. This won't do. This won't do. Out. Out, you filthy stains. Out. No, 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 no. It's ruined. No. No. She was supposed to watch over all the children. But, but now, all the time I spent. But, but I, I worked so hard. You failed them. You failed everyone. No, that's not what I meant to do. You can still fix it. Put it all back together. No, 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 no. That's right. I did, didn't I? All of it falling apart. The order really does end with me. I can't fix it. I can't put it back together. Putting things back together. Fixing things the way we want it. We've been doing that for a long time, haven't we? <gasps> We learned how to do it. We learned it so well. <laughs> you, you, you can't be. I, I'm seeing things. <laughs> Funny. So eager to believe in angels and saints. Yet the moment you see yourself, that's when the doubt starts creeping in. <laughs> no. No, you're not real. You can't be. Maybe I'm not. It's hard to tell when you've lived most of your life in this place. This convent. There really is a special air to it, isn't there? Something almost magical. But there's one thing we both know was very real. Don't you remember? In this very room, we came here crying, begging Idolora to tell us what happened to her, to Cornelia. And she just looked at us with those calm eyes. Do you remember what she said? <laughs> no, no, stop it! <laughs> Quiet! Silence! You're a distraction! Just a distraction! She said that there are some souls that not even God's light can reach. And that was it. We never saw her again. In other words, Idolora killed her. No one ever spoke another word of her, no matter how many times you asked. Any mention of her name met with silence. That's not how it happened. You are lying. The, the child was sick. Mother Idolora said she was sick. She, she was sick and she tried to heal her. She didn't, she didn't mean to. Yes, that's the story we ended up telling ourselves. We had to. How else could we go on? <laughs> Returning to our 
everyday routine, praying alongside all our other sisters. Oh, and singing too. What was it we were praying for again? We... Oh, surely you remember. A proper sister of Saint Itelora would of course know. <laughs> The grace of God, the, the good of the ch children. The good of the children. <laughs> it was unbearable. We couldn't leave our sacred vows. We can't ever leave. So we did the only thing we could do to make the pain go away. We forgot. We made sure we forgot. No. We cleaned the convent so well, didn't we? A stuffed toy. That prayer journal she used to scribble on. <laughs> Packed them all up. Stuffed them into boxes. Never to be seen again. Praying and cleaning and praying and cleaning. Till even the songs we used to sing to her faded from memory. Removing all the stains. Till... Every trace of her was gone. Well, almost every trace. But even the bracelet's broken now, isn't it? Did we keep the pieces? <laughs> I... I tried to fix it. <laughs> fix it? Oh yes, we're very good at fixing things, aren't we? We fixed everything. Made everything so perfect. Why shouldn't it be? Her world. It's Alora's world. Heaven on earth. We did it, didn't we? We behaved like the perfect little saint they always wanted us to be. We earned our place, but even with all that effort, we never really did fit in. We still never really belong. Those divine voices that Idolora and all the other sisters claimed to hear. We never heard them. Though, I suppose it would be hard to hear anything when deep down, all we've ever really heard are the cries of that one little girl. No, 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 stop. Dearest Mother Edelora, please watch my blood-stained hands tear off the lying flesh of my... Shh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sculpt by every action. We never really had a choice in the matter, did we? We needed to survive. And so survive we did. Stay away! I will not listen to you! I will not! You're still hearing her, aren't you? I hear her too, all the time. <laughs> For all her talk about perfection, she was very good at leaving her mark on people, wasn't she? Shut up! Not another word! We weren't able to save Cornelia. But please, Adira, now there are two girls right here, very much alive. We can stop it. Please. But what can I do if I let them go? After this, they will tell. Then you can confess all this time. That's all we've ever wanted, wasn't it? But the Order's name will receive the judgment it deserves. Please, Adira, let's end this. I... What if, what if she's right? I can't let this continue. No, our work here was 
everything, this convent. I gave it everything. If Mother Idilora was wrong, then my whole life is meaningless. Please, listen! No! Silence! Dearest Mother Idolora, fill the cracks that sin has left upon me. Drowning me out with prayer? And paint a smile on my face so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. I'm used to that. So is Cornelia. Shut up! <laughs> she is... She's gone. Has it passed? There's always that one moment. That one key moment where God calls stronger and more desperate than ever before. <gasps> it is these moments that truly separate the saints from the sinners. Who's... who's that? My dear Adira. My sweet, strong Adira. Have you forgotten me? Oh, time really has ruined you, hasn't it? <gasps> Mother Idolora, you're... you're here. How? Oh, child, I never left. I've been watching you all this time, all your struggles, your pain, your victories, and your failures. My, my failures? The, the, the girls, Gabriella, she, she tried to leave her. I had to do something, and Holly, the, the thing she was saying, I, I couldn't... Oh, Adira. Look at you, rambling on again. You really haven't changed, have you? <laughs> when words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is... is prudent. Chapter and verse. Pro Proverbs 1019. There you are. <laughs> Good to see you still remember. I was so worried. You've always had uh, difficulties when it came to the scriptures. By no means your fault. Your mind just has a tendency to wander, indulging itself with wasteful distraction. But we managed to fix that. It took some time, but we did, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. Mother Edelora, what happened to Cornelia? What... what you did... It's not true, right? I, I mean, I know it wasn't true. The horrible things she said about you... You didn't, right? Oh, no, no. No, Adira, it's worse than I thought. Is this what years without my guidance has done to you? Every waking moment is a moment we dedicate to prayer. Not just through our actions, but through our thoughts. And so, every thought which praises the divine is a blessed hymn, whilst every doubt, every idle musing, every stray idea, is what? Is, is a curse, a sin, an indulgent distraction that the devil feeds upon. Chapter and verse. Um, it, it's not from the Bible, it's, it's from you. <laughs> That it is. Now that we've cleared that up, we can start over the right way. <gasps> yes, Mum. Forgive me. I am graced with your presence. So, 
Now we attend to the present. Looks like you've made quite the mess. Yes. I'm sorry. That's all right. When there's a mess, we clean it up. Simple as that. Clean it up? But... But how? If you look deep within yourself, Adira, I think we both know what needs to be done. The devil festers now more than ever in the hearts of the young, and our efforts in this glorious war against Satan himself... <sighs> lacking. You've always been so sweet, but right now... I need you to be strong, and don't you worry. Remember, I am mother to the Order, and a mother can be whatever her children need her to be. So, what do you need, child? I... I need you. I've... I've been alone for so long. Oh, sweet, strong Adira. You were never alone. My... My sisters. They're here for you, Adira. We're all here for you. It's... It's all so perfect. I'm home. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. <laughs> You are forgiven. Now, let's turn those words into action. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yes, it's all clear to me now. We do things step by step. First, we access, we ass ass access the damage. Broken shard of her image, scattered across the f across the floor. We shall pick them up. They are sharp to the touch, nasty little edges that cut and hurt and maim. But that's all right. She's now guiding me. Second, we picture how it all used to look. Yes, now I remember. We will put her back together, grander than ever before. She will be perfect. She will be beautiful. Oh, and there's the candles. Yes, we will need to light them. One for each of my dear sisters. And I have so many sisters. The convent will be bathed in brilliant, radiant flame. Third, we reflect. But there's no need to reflect anymore. After all, she's here. Now I need only listen. Which brings us to the final step. I will turn her words, our words, into action. And that is where we'll leave this episode of Saint Maker, guys. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.